Famed Star Wars writer Lawrence Kasdan revealed why he is done with the Star Wars franchise and isn't returning to the galaxy far, far away after the financial failure of his last film in the universe, Solo, A Star Wars Story. Now, he initially turned down the offer to return by Kathleen Kennedy before Disney even bought Lucasfilm in the year 2012. He told Lucasfilm, it's been very good to me, but I don't want to do it anymore. Later, he was convinced to take a meeting with George Lucas and noticed that they were working on a spin-off project around his favorite character, Han Solo. He agreed to take on the script of the Han Solo film, but as production on The Force Awakens began, Kaslan slowly became more and more involved with the project and eventually became the co-writer of it alongside J.J. Abrams. He said none of this was really planned, but he also said it was a good experience and would agree to stick around for the Solo spin-off film if his son could write it with him. And then Kazan said, Then the studio blew it, but that's not unusual. He also said Lucasfilm kept trying to get him involved with the project, even sending him a messenger to his house with the script for the film. Kazan said, I never saw this poor messenger that they sent. I said I can't take it. I didn't want to sit down and read someone else's Star Wars movie. I'm just not interested in Star Wars. Don't think for a second I don't know how lucky I am that they're sending a Star Wars script to my door. And I can say, no, I won't accept it. You have to be in a very privileged situation to do that, and I don't ever take that for granted. And it looks like Kazan really just wanted to return to directing, and instead of writing Star Wars films, go off and do his own little projects. And from a filmmaker's perspective, you can respect that. But I'll admit, it's kind of sad to see him leave the Star Wars universe on a not-so-high note with Solo A Star Wars Story. This man co-wrote Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, and then he returned almost, what, 30, 40 years later for The Force Awakens, so he's definitely left a great legacy in the Star Wars universe. And I honestly wish he would have returned for the prequels. If you don't remember, or don't recall at least, George Lucas actually approached Lawrence Kasdan to work on the prequels, but when he called him up, it was like a week or two before the filming even began for the prequels, so it's understandable why he would turn that down and he himself is not a big fan of the prequels. So it's interesting to see what he could have done with the sequel trilogy. Let's say he comes back and works with Ryan Johnson on co-writing Episode Eight, The Last Jedi, and maybe even done the same thing with Episode Nine, The Rise of Skywalker. Pretty confident we would have had a different turnout for the Star Wars sequels. Would it be better? Would it be worse? I'm not entirely sure. I do find it funny, though, that he blames the studio for Solo A Star Wars Story being a flop and being a mess. When he was one of the people, him and Kathleen Kennedy were the producers for Solo Star Wars Story, both of them had problems with the way Phil Lord and Chris Miller were handling the project and their style of directing and everything. Kathleen Kennedy herself said it was a process that they just weren't getting down right. But I know that Lawrence Kasdan was one of the producers who had a problem with Phil Lord and Chris Miller and how they were directing things. And it's just kind of funny to think that he's blaming the studio but not himself or Kathleen Kennedy for the bad production side of things because if those two directors weren't let go you wouldn't have all the reshoots the film cost wouldn't have gone up and it wouldn't have been a financial flop like it is so it's kind of sad to think that's his last film that's his last film in Star Wars that's the last impact that he has on the legacy of Star Wars and I think overall I mean I know a lot of people don't like The Force Awakens in hindsight anymore but that is one of the better films in the Star Wars universe and I think a large part of that is him coming in and co-writing it and I really wonder how he could have enhance the prequels if at all or maybe not as well maybe he diminished their impact i'm not entirely sure but i think that a co-writer for the last jedi or someone to write the screenplay was definitely needed and maybe even with the rise of skywalker we might have that but lawrence kasdan's legendary and i know a lot of people don't know much about the history of star wars but this guy is one of the few people who would actually challenge george lucas when he was making the films back in the day and I think it's one of the things that you need in a Star Wars film is not having one guy like George Lucas like Ryan Johnson having so much control over just one film and having all the creative control without a writer coming in and challenging you or working on the dialogue because I feel like both those guys need help when it comes to dialogue and writing out the characters and fleshing out the characters that we have in the films really wish Lawrence Kasdan would have stayed on a little more but you, you understand from his point of view of hey I've done my piece and I'm done. I mean, he really left, at least in the 70s and 80s, he left at the height of Star Wars. He left after Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. There's not much you can do after that. I mean, those are fucking perfect. Then you come back to The Force Awakens, you don't do the prequels because, you know, the scheduling wasn't right and Lucas comes to you kind of last minute. It was a little more risky, and I know he wasn't a fan of how the prequels came out, so I think him coming back in the sequels was a way of him 
kind of riding the wrong of not coming back during the prequels, but also doing it on his own terms of, I want to make this solo a Star Wars story film, but I want to do it alongside my son. You know, you, you have to respect it, but it is disappointing to hear that he doesn't want to do Star Wars anymore. I think it's a little sad, and I really wish he would change his mind on it, but, you know, times change, and so do people, and maybe in the future we can get better Star Wars writers. I don't see it happening because he is legendary, but still, you can never... You can never really take away the impact this man has had on the Star Wars franchise. But tell me your thoughts below. What do you think about Lawrence Kasdan deciding to step away from the Star Wars universe? And what do you think about his many times of rejecting the Star Wars franchise? He did it in the 90s with the prequels, and he did it again with The Force Awakens, but he was kind of eventually nudged into it and did solo Star Wars story. Interesting conversation, in my opinion. Tell me your thoughts below. I'm Star Wars Only. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next time, and may the Force be with you always.